credit illustration by the New York Times, photographs from Keith Hernandez before we get to Keith Hernandez and what a former sports star is to do after the glory of the field and, of course, the viral videos of his cat on social media, consider a few things. Hernandez, a first baseman, accomplished a lot on the baseball diamond, two World Series rings, with the Street Louis Cardinals in 1982 and with the Mets in 1986, a Most Valuable Player Award in 1979 and other accolades. He has grown into a respected, amusing analyst of the team for broadcasts of their games on Sportsnet New York, and, at 64, he has followed so many of his brethren into the book world, with a memoir coming out next week. But lately people really want to know about the cat. His name is Haji, named after the character from the 1960s animated television show Johnny Quest. He lives a great life and Hernandez has gained many followers on Twitter by posting about it. That was the most watched video, Hernandez and his cat getting the morning newspaper from his driveway, viewed more than 260,000 times, or about six times the capacity of City Field. I never thought that would be such a big deal, Hernandez said recently, especially looking like I just woke up. It was even on the 5 o'clock news in Arizona with the sportscaster ending his segment with that date. Hernandez would not be the first to discover the power of social media, and the subculture of animal photos and videos on it, but nothing in his fabulous life before made it obvious the latest turn would be social media star, or maybe these days. That is the obvious turn. Life's paths, he said with a shrug. He had been on Twitter years ago but, with few followers and not much interest in it, he had trailed off until the agent helping him to promote his book, I'm Keith Hernandez, recommended restarting it. Aside from the promotional possibilities, Hernandez said he now saw it as a fun way to write, which he said he has always enjoyed. I always got good grades in creative writing from elementary school on up, he said, using an expletive to stress his disdain for punctuation. I'm pretty sure when I need a comma, I'm not so sure about a semicolon. He found his voice, and a lot of followers, 70,000 and growing, including one of his adult daughters who had quit Twitter but returned just to follow his musings. His followers seem to have a passionate interest not only in baseball but in all things Keith. Known for his trademark mustache and cameos on Seinfeld, Hernandez posted on what inspired the facial hair. He revealed he is in the middle of reading Islands in the Stream by Ernest Hemingway. On occasion, he muses about music, including one of his favorite musicians, Englishman Ronnie Lane. We need to listen to music tonight to free our minds of the daily grind, Hernandez tweeted last month. It soothes the soul, does it not? And naturally there is a lot of baseball, sometimes tweet storms on the doings and undoings of the Mets, who after a fast start are struggling now. When he is really excited, it's in all caps. After a recent string of 17 tweets analyzing the pitching of Noah Syndergaard, the hitting of Ostrubil Cabrera, the early struggles of Ioannis Cespedes, and critiquing modern hitting techniques as they relate to Michael Conforto, Hernandez capped the commentary with the following, I hope my grammar was okay. The grammar police on Twitter are worse than the KGB. Chill officers. Image Keith Hernandez chills, as usual, with his beloved cat Haji. Credit Keith Hernandez, via Twitter somewhere along the way. He turned his cell phone camera to his cat, Hernandez, who is divorced, considers the 15-year-old Bengal his prime companion at his Long Island home, and it seemed to please a whole lot of tweetsters, as Hernandez calls his followers. He learned from more technology-savvy friends how to record and share videos. He shares them often now. And right now, because the Mets are going through this tough patch, they want more video of Haji, he said. What I think is fascinating, said Gary Cohen, the SNY play-by-play -play announcer, one of Hernandez's longtime broadcast partners, is that he's allowed people to view very close inside his personal life in a way that most public figures are not necessarily inclined to do. It's a great glimpse inside his brain, which is, you know, a fascinating place. There is nothing special about Hernandez's social media process. He wakes up, 
drinks his morning coffee, gets the Wall Street Journal and the New York Post from his driveway with Haji, and then writes. I can write in the morning, he said, it just flows out. The fans just want to know about the Mets and I give them a little bit of that. They want to know about my life. They also want to know about Haji. The interest is so high that he urged the company that creates the t-shirts he sells on his website to make designs with him and Haji, there is one with cartoon drawings of each wearing broadcast headsets, and they have sold well. Mets fans in Atlanta last month waved a large cutout of Haji in the stands during a game, which Hernandez said amazed him. I cannot tell you how many people have twittered me pictures of their cat laying out in the sun going. My cat is madly in love with Haji. Can we hook them up? Hernandez said, laughing. Before a recent Mets game against the Colorado Rockies, Hernandez composed a tweet while sitting in the SNY booth at City Field. He read it out loud while Cohen prepared for the broadcast. Hernandez deleted one section, revised another and pressed send. The reason for the urgency, Hernandez said, was because he felt like he had been neglecting his tweetsters. Please forgive me for going dark on you all, the tweet read. I've not recovered sufficiently from the return flight from San Diego, day-to-day -day errands and work. Tomorrow is a day game so that will be impossible. Three days in Cincinnati will get me back on the Twitter board, promise. Then Hernandez, with a sly grin, asked a visitor in the broadcast booth, what do you think of my writing? Do you think it'll be in the English lit classes throughout the high schools of America? Maybe, it was favorited more than five.